Good morning, everybody. Check this out real quick. Coast Guard. Good job. Love you guys. Man. That was fun. Hi, how you doing? Hopefully it's gonna come out. It was I like it bright like it was earlier, but at the same time it was so loud from the the surf that you you know the audio was just really so I'm gonna do this real quick. This is a video about my travels living in my vehicle. And I was blessed before, you know, becoming, you know, residentially challenged. Um, <laughs> basically, I was, I used to, not only did I know how to camp, so camping is important. If you know how to camp, you know how to make a fire, you used to sleep in tents or putting up tents, you used to sleep in bags, you used to just roughing it, then that makes it so much easier. Also, I've been doubly blessed by being able to cook for a living. I used to, in my 20s, I pretty much survived cooking for a living. And I got to a chef status, but I just never carried it further than that. I just moved on, different stuff, whatever. But that was probably the most fun I did, actually making recipes and running a kitchen. And it was Sacramento Brewery, it was really cool. Anyway. So that was a wonderful job and I used to cook for a living. And one of the things about cooking, if you are a cook, if you know what it means to be a cook, there are certain things that you are automatically, whether you like it or not. You're a, you're a, you're a maid, you're, you're a cleaner, you, you do dishes. Put it that way, I don't, I don't, any chef that says he does not do dishes is a piece of shit and not a good chef. Every chef does dishes, every chef worth his weight cleans as he goes or she goes or they go. Um, binary gender specific cooks so whatever <clears throat> you're clean so I'm constantly cleaning that was part of the process you because health wise you I mean you don't even have to you don't want no health department breathing down your neck but if you have quality and understand what it is to have self-respect in your work you're gonna be as clean as possible your food's gonna be as fresh as possible I don't I've thrown out food before I've like this is shit I'm not serving it this meat is bad I'm throwing it out you mark it you Deal with the inventory, but at the same time, you don't serve shit that you know in your heart is not worth. You wouldn't eat it yourself, you don't serve it, period. So I was blessed in my travels to be able to cook for myself so I'm not starving or, you know, you know, malnutrition. Although there's been moments in my travels when I, I lost some food and was not having, you know, and I, you, you, here's the thing. One sign that you can really tell you're having issues is your nails. They get really brittle. Which, I, you know, right now they're nice and flexible, but yeah, if you're cl clipping your nails and they get really brittle, that's when you know you got issues and you need to work on your nutrition. Anyway, so these are blessings that you have when you learn how to travel. You gotta learn how to cook because you gotta, you know, a lot of it's canned and that's not the most sexy way to eat or to enjoy your food, but at the same time, it's survival. A can of beans will get you a long way from dying. You can put it like that, you know what I mean? It's gonna be, everything's a blessing. And I just like the. I just wanted to point that out. You know, it's I, I make it look easy. It's only because I've I was actually in, instilled with this these skills before I ever became in my situation, like camping, mobile. I love camping. I love being outdoors. I love being in the middle of the woods. That does not bother me. Some people freak out. You'd be surprised if you're from the city. A lot of people have never even been to the forest, and that just I can't. I, you go to New York and you'll find people that have never left the city. Never been even to northern, didn't even go to northern New York where they have like forests. They just don't do it. They just never been, which is sad because everybody needs to go out in the woods, man. That's just, the experience is amazing. Nature is amazing. <clears throat> and all my trips, and, and this thing is like, people go, man, I, I should be like grinning like an idiot at all times, which nobody actually can because it's just stupid. But I, I've been blessed with some amazing views in my travels. And the ocean is one of them. The desert, the Rocky Mountains, you know, Montana. That when I was staying at the North Shore at Flathead Lake, that campground at 14, B14, it was a lookout point. And every day I woke up to just a breathtaking view. 
when it wasn't raining. I mean, you, you could get your ass chewed on by a grizzly, but at the same time, you know, it was Montana. It was beautiful. And talk about a blessing, right? Anyway. So get your cooking skills together, and that's important. Be clean as you possibly can. I have paper towels, constantly have paper towels, and, and I have rubbing alcohol. I use this. 90% rubbing alcohol. I mix it with water and I use a sprayer and it keeps my hand spray. I've been using that for the last year and a half. It's just instant and it works great. It's good for cleaning. I mean, it's hard to keep your hands completely clean all the time. And I've seen some grubby poor people that just could care less, right? I've seen some dude walk into a Walmart and his hands were just black from just dirt and campfire. And it's what it is, right? Anyway. So enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful day. Happy camping and, and living in your vehicles if you have to. It's, it's freedom. It's, a, it's kind of freedom. You got to look at it like that. And it's a blessing. And enjoy every day. And it's a, it's a miracle. And, and it's adventure. And I'm going to show you part of it. I mean, yeah, it's an adventure, people. So live your life. Love yourself. And rock it. And good things will happen. Isn't that motivational? That sounds awesome. Okay, have a wonderful day. Okay, love you, bye.